Hey everyone, Namaste and welcome to the 29th episode of Yogi Shakti with me Shalaja Menon here on Anand TV. Now in today's episode, we're going to explore some of the variations of this very core asana called Navasana. Now Nav stands for boat and we're going to be doing some variations of that which include Ardha Navasana which is the half boat position, the Parsva Ardha Navasana, which is the lateral stretch to that Ardha Navasana. And we're also going to be exploring Salabhasana and its variations because together with the Navasana position, they help strengthen the midsection of the body. Now, Navasana, as you all probably know, as we've done these postures in earlier classes, in earlier episodes, Right? So they help to strengthen and to flex the lumbar spine. And Salabhasana, on the other hand, it works on extending the lumbar spine, which is why these two positions actually complement each other and together they help us to strengthen the midsection. Now, as you all know that we try to look at the yoga practice not just as exercise or you know, a manner in which to stretch and strengthen the body, but we also explore it through the philosophical context. So, Nav is a very important symbol. And in the Rama Gita, Rama tells Lakshmana to use the wisdom teachings of the yoga philosophy as a boat with which to cross the stormy ocean of samsara. Now, with the COVID pandemic uh, raging all around us and with the situation sometimes hitting close to home, we all tend to get uh, overwhelmed sometimes. But uh, this is really an opportunity for us to connect deeply with the wisdom practices of the yoga and to incorporate all of its different limbs, whether it's pranayama or asana, as best as we can even if it is simply practicing the deep breathing for a few minutes uh, every morning and evening, because all of it helps us to navigate through the stormy currents and undercurrents of samsara. Otherwise, we just keep drowning and drowning in it each time. So let us stick to the wisdom philosophy of the practice and let us uh, navigate this difficult time with some semblance of uh, steadiness and uh, equanimity. Namaste. So to begin with, just lie on your back and we will start with variations of Ardhanavasan. So continue to keep your knees bent and as you keep your knees bent, you can just see the knee and the heels are in line. Right. So make sure that your feet are really grounded into the floor and then as you exhale, just slowly rising up, yeah? lifting your head, neck and shoulder off the floor, trying to Peel it off the floor as much as you can. Just keeping your fingers stretching and just holding it here. Five, four, three, two, and release. Exhale and lower down. So as you lower down, just really connect to your shoulders relaxing, your upper back relaxing, just feeling all of that, your abdominal muscles rela relaxing. Now moving into the next variation of this, where you're just going to come up, keeping your arms crossed across your chest. Yeah, so as you exhale, rising up, press down through your feet, really peeling your upper back off the floor and hold. And slowly lower down and release the hands to the floor. Now in this last variation, you're going to continue to rise up. But the variation here, your arms are going to go back. Yeah. So as you exhale again, really feel your spine slowly peel off the floor, engaging your abdominal muscles, upper back rising, shoulders lifting. And then try to take the arms back, shoulders lifting. Keeping the arms alongside your ears. Good. 
now slowly lower it down and release your spine back to the floor. Yeah, just focus on your breath, inhale and exhale. Just relax your abdominal muscles, feel your shoulders relax, the head and neck relaxed. And now working to offset this with the bridge position, which is Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. So just pressing down through your feet and then lifting the hips off the floor. As you inhale, just rising up as much as you can, just holding it there. Just staying here, really feeling the soles of the feet pressing down, your knees pointing straight forward. And then if you want to get a deeper position, you can just gently roll your shoulders down towards each other so that you can lift the upper back off the floor, continuing to lift the hips up, just holding well. And finally, to get a little bit more off, just press down through your toes, lift the heels off and stay. Now slowly lower the heels back and release the spine back to the floor. Release your shoulders and hug the knees to your chest and gently roll from side to side, relaxing your spine. Okay, now we're going into the next series of poses where you're going to continue to lift your head, neck and shoulders off the floor. Yeah, so you can keep your arms coming forward like you did earlier and then this round you're going to try to get the need to come towards you yeah so the right knee comes in and going down so as you exhale bring the knee towards you and as you inhale release it down all the while keeping the neck and the shoulders rising off the floor and down exhale and down exhale down, exhale, and down, and release. So as you release, feel your abdominal muscles relax, feel the muscles of the neck and the shoulders relax. Okay, so we're going to do a very similar movement here in the next position, only the arm position is going to change. Yeah. So as always, you're going to peel the head, neck and shoulders off the floor, and then you can keep the hands behind your head yeah and then from here as you exhale again lower down exhale and down exhale and down exhale down. last set Yeah, and then if you're feeling good, you can just lift the arms up, continuing to rise up, and then go down after this. Yes, yeah, so you can really feel the deep work that you have been doing, the strong contraction of your abdominal muscles. So just feeling them relax and release as you inhale and exhale. So the rest is equally important. It's equally important to absorb the benefits of what you were doing earlier. Right, so now we're going to move into the variation of the bridge pose that we were doing earlier, right? So Setu Bandha Sarvangasana, just lift up first, right? This is what we did earlier, the last set. Now, again, like we were doing with the abdominal work, as you exhale, try to bring the knee in and down. Yeah? So the hip might dip a bit, but your job is to try to 
keep it as high as possible. So each time that you go down is an opportunity for you to reset. Yeah? Last set. Then you can just work here a bit, lifting all the way up. And lower down. And bring both knees in. And stay. So to begin, just cross the hands over your chest and lift up the head, neck and shoulders off the floor. Yeah, so this already deeply engages your abdominal muscles. And then as you inhale, lift the right leg up. And as you exhale, make as wide circles as possible. Yeah, so really stretching the legs out, extending as much as you can. And all the while keeping the head, neck and shoulders off the floor, rising working in the clockwise as well as the anti-clockwise directions. And slowly lower down and release. So as you relax, just feel your abdominal muscles relax completely. And slowly exhale and rising up. Again, lifting the head, neck and shoulders off. Inhale, lift the leg up. And as you exhale, just wide circles, as wide as you can. Really extending that whole range of the legs. Working on your hip mobility. And slowly rising up. Release the leg down. And release fully, exhale and release the arms. Focus on your breath, inhale and exhale. Feel your abdominal muscles relax. Just really relaxing into the ground. Now the next position that you're going to do is very similar to this. Lift your head, neck and chest, continue to keep your arms crossed. Now lift your left leg off the floor. Yeah, So this is the challenge. To try to keep your left leg off the floor as you work your right leg. Yeah? So just do your best. And if it's too challenging, you can always keep that left leg on the floor as you move. And relax. So always keeping one leg off the floor is more challenging. Yeah? Now working on the other side. So... Again, cross your arms over your chest, rising up, lift the right leg up, left leg lifts up, and you move. And relax. So as you relax, sense your body. Sense the relaxation in the muscles that were deeply engaged. Yeah, and then turn to your side and we're going to work on the Salabhasan variation. Yeah, so I have taken a strap. So if you don't have a strap, it's all right. You can just uh, do... It without a strap as well. A strap just helps you to keep your arms really straight. Yeah, so extend forward with your arms and then as you inhale, just lift the head, neck and shoulders and your legs and stay. Then slowly exhale and lower down. So just doing this like three times. Inhale and rising up. Exhale and lower down. And lastly, inhale and rising up.
Exhale and lower down. And slowly release the hands. Make a pillow with your arms. Turn your side. And relax. Okay, so, so lie on your side. And we're working into the Parsva variation. Okay, so you're going to feel a deep contraction here on your side. So from this position, as you inhale, just lift the right leg up. And as you exhale, slowly lower down. Yeah, so just doing six rounds here. Inhale and lift. Exhale and down. 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 And last round. Inhale and lift. Exhale and down. Okay, so we're going to go into three variations. So I'll just finish one side and move over to the other. So the next variation here is to try to bring both your knees up towards your chest. Yeah, so as you exhale, bring the knees in towards your chest. As you inhale, it goes out. So again, six rounds here. So just do what you can. Yeah, you may be trying these positions for the first time. So remember the niyama of santosha is very important. Just be content with your practice. And Okay, and then in the last variation, we're going to try to lift both the legs up. So again, just again, do what you can. Yeah, just so uh, I'm just pressing down with my fingers to help me here. And then as you inhale, lift. Okay, so we have to repeat this whole thing on the other side. So just turning around to the other side. So you begin with the straight leg lifts. So as you inhale, lift, exhale down, right? So we did like six rounds here. Yeah, and then working on the double leg variation where you try to bring both knees in and out and in and out and in out okay as we move into the last variation where we try to lift both legs up so just Adjust your position, make sure that your shoulders and elbows are in line over here on the right side. And as you inhale, try to lift both your legs up and down. and release yeah so from here just going into the salabhasan variation where you just lie on your abdomen again just working with a different variation of salabhasan where you just place your hands below your shoulders and as you inhale lift the head neck and chest Lift the legs up, toes pointing back. Just staying strong here. Elbows going back. And if you feel good, you can extend your arms out to the side. And even 
hold the fingers back, rising up. And slowly release and relax. Okay, now we're going to work into the full Navasan position. Yeah, so so far we were doing variations of Ardha Navasan. So from here, just working into it slowly, step by step. As you inhale, lift the right leg up. Keep your toes stretching if you'd like. Okay, really engaging your upper back. Holding here for a few seconds. Really engaging your front thigh muscles. Yeah, the quads have to strongly contract so that your knee is straight. Okay, and then slowly release. And then working with the left side as you inhale, lift the leg up and stay. Okay, again, slowly lower down. We're going to do one more round of this. Yeah, so as you inhale, rising up. Exhale, lower down and inhale, left leg up. And exhale, lower down. And now we're going to try with both knees up. So just staying here for a bit, right? So you might uh, not straighten altogether, but just finding your balance here. You're trying to keep the thighs close to your chest. Keep the arms rising. Feel the engagement of your abdominal muscles. Okay, and then exhale and lower down. Hug the knees to your chest and lengthen through your spine. Just feel that beautiful release to your spine. Okay, and then slowly uh, going back to the sit bones and then trying to straighten your legs as much as possible. So maybe you don't need to straighten all the way, but just as much as you can and just hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and release. Yeah, lower the legs down. Again, hug the knees to your chest. Lengthen through your spine. Feel the release. And then last round here. So again, just try to keep the thighs as close to your chest as possible. Try not to let your knees play out. Try to keep your knees together as well. Again, engage your arms well. Lifting off, feeling grounded here. And then slowly work on straightening your legs. Remembering to strongly contract your quads. Okay, and then slowly lower down, hug the knees to your chest, lengthen through your spine and try this one more time. Now just do your best, lift up and stay. Slowly lower down, hug the knees to your chest. Lengthen through your spine and stay. Okay, so all of this, uh, we tend to round the back a little bit, which is why it's nice to wind up with the bridge position. So just lying on your back. Just press down through your feet. Lift the hips up. And just stay really being easy about it, rolling the shoulders down, getting a good height to your upper back. You can even clasp your fingers below the spine. Keep the legs lifting, keep the hips lifting, and you can even keep the heels lifting. Okay, and then release the arms. Lower your hips and hug the knees to your chest. 
Just roll from side to side, relax your spine. So as we come to the end of another episode, let us use the wisdom of the yoga practice as a boat to help us navigate through the stormy waters of this time, of this pandemic. So use whatever it is that you have connected to, deep stretching, deep breathing, deep relaxation practices to help you stay and proceed with a sense of upekshanam, equanimity. Namaste. Loka samastha, sukhino bhavantu.